Top of the morning to you, YPC. Welcome to the Week 12 wrap-up. Congratulations to the playoffs teams. Uh, the Champ versus Lions Den. Took versus One Good Fella. Dirty versus Denny. And Jimmy versus Jimmy versus Sheep. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations to the Rude for getting the uh, the number one seed and the best record overall. Uh, $200 your way. Bust the most points for us. $100 your way. Uh, next year, I changed this. Tried to change this the the payment out a little bit to get as many people involved as possible. Um, I call it the Nick clause because it's a bitch that Nick got edged out by a cunt hair for the most points for us. So that's shitty. Um, a lot of points, very impressive. I think he should get at least his money back. It wasn't implemented this year, so we can't change the rules. But for next year, you guys look at it and let me know what you think as far as the payouts. Um, the the consolation bracket is a little mixed up because of Uncle Ben's shenanigans. I don't know what was going on, but it kind of fucked the AFC because it was huge. Um, it was it was for me it was huge because if he wins or loses or beats Denny it throws a mix in the hall of the AFC because everything was really close so um kind of sucks I hope he wasn't giving up because it had huge implications for the AFC the NFC it didn't matter because it was in, it was all an intervision game so um you know I don't know if you guys like the way we did it you know AFC versus AFC NFC versus NFC uh you know we could draw it out of a hat next year for week 12 I'm up in the air for how you guys want to do that um but you know with him starting an out player it wasn't a game day decision so it wasn't a doubtful or something that was ruled out that day so it carries with it a, a fee or a penalty so um you know we've discussed in the past you know the the late fee that we have implemented now there's some guys uh some owners that don't want to pay late fees and that's fine uncle benji if you don't want to pay your late fee let me know that way we can find somebody to replace you for next year uh it's nothing personal it's just business you know, if you, if you feel that adamantly about it that you don't want to pay the late fee, that's cool. But um, I'm trying to remain consistent with what we've done in the past. In the past, when Jay, Jay started a bye week player, or uh, and Sheepy did, I think, in, in the same season, and they had the 12th and the 11th pick. So that kind of automatically will have make you have the 12th pick, pay your fee, get reinstated, and then Busta would get a bye week get a bye the first round and then me and Nick would play whoever was between me and Nick plays Busta for the first pick overall um let uh you know I, I I if you guys don't think that that's fair let me know but I'm pretty sure that's how we've implemented it in the past just trying to remain consistent and fair uh I don't know what's going on or what happened I haven't heard from Ben haven't seen anything on the boards you know I understand there's there's not much you can say but saying something just so we know what's going on I don't know uh, probably was just, you know, shit happens. So, um, unfortunately, you know, it costs, uh, it's going to cost you a little bit and it kind of screwed up our division for the playoffs as far as seeding. Um, and who knows, it may have not have been a big, di big issue, but you never know, you know. And so, um, for, as an owner in the league, I don't like it. Um, you know, you're not putting your best foot forward. And I've been in that position where you're, you have a shitty year, but you got to keep on scratching and qualling. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, that's the way it's going to be played out. If you guys want Week 12 differently, let me know. We can play AFC versus NFC. Like I said, we can figure something out. Um, the other thing that I want to touch on is the points. I think the point system was fine this year. I like it. Everyone getting their points for what they do. Uh, you know, every, every yard counts. I like that. Next year will be basically the same setup. It'll just be a flex instead of OP. So... Uh, same everything. Um, I've played in multiple wide receiver leagues. I don't like it. I think the system that we have here implemented is nice. I like that. The only other thing that I, I like change, and so I like changing things up. If you guys don't like it, that's fine. I like keeping things uh, wrinkly, fresh, fresh, fresh little wrinkles. Um, we, I've heard some leagues picking a seventh round or sixth round keeper. So anybody that you draft after the seventh round or the sixth round, you can pick up or keep for the following year. Uh, just an idea. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, you know, you can pick anybody. Uh, defense, quarterback, running back. In Nick's case, you can keep a kicker after the seventh round. If you guys want to go that route, let me know because we need to kind of polish it up because some you can do it a minimum. Um, you could do it where it's locked in, where you keep that guy. You have to keep him for those years. You can keep him for a minimum, or excuse me, a maximum of three years, however you guys want to do it. The other thing is that if you keep that guy, 
uh, the following year, where does he fall in your draft order? I've heard fifth round. I've heard seventh round or sixth round. Wherever you get him, that's where they're going to be drafted in that spot the following year. Uh, we could even do it where if it's a six-round keeper, that's your last pick of the draft. You don't get your last pick. That's where it would be. But whatever it is, I think it's a cool wrinkle. We just need to figure out uh, how we want to do it. So let me know. That's the only thing that I would throw in the mix. If you guys have any other cool ideas, um, that would be, you know, we could throw it out on the board. I think doing a defensive thing, a defensive player is a cool thing, but I think it'd just be too much. I like staying with offense. So, um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Good luck, you guys. I'm jealous. Uh, this is the best part of the season, I think, the draft and the playoffs. So uh, good luck to you guys. I wish you guys the best. Um, you know, hey, may the luckiest team win. And I'll do some wrap-ups giving the, uh, the playoff team some love. Uh, good luck, you guys. And... Uh, Ooh, someone's going to bring home the trophy and some money. Nice. All right. Peace.